The message is clear. The message is loud. The RBA will not be left behind. They want to re-anchor inflation and that belter of a move. Garfield, your first take. Well, the first take is I mean, this is a real shock for the market, which uh, I struggle to recall a, an occasion when the market was this unprepared for an RBA move or when any central bank move, the market went in this unprepared, so certain that they would hold uh, because they were convinced that the, infla the softer inflation numbers than expected for the quarterly CPI report meant the RBA having paused last month would pause again this month. Instead, what we've got is another in the series of gut punches to bond markets in particular, but also to equities, when investors get too complacent about the idea that central banks are close to the end of hiking rates. What the RBA has definitely done here is push back any thought that they're close to the end, that they're about, that they've just about done with hiking rates. We've already got swap traders pricing for now a more than 4% peak rate for the RBA. That's probably very much what the policymakers were looking for. And it stands as a warning for investors going into the Fed and ECB meetings coming along later. Maybe Powell would also like to see swap traders lose their complacency and bond bond traders and equity traders lose their complacency that the Fed is just about done, that it wouldn't go more than 25 basis points this time, that that would be the end. Instead, you're going to, I think we're all, you know, we already had some move towards a potential June hike. That might grow. And the big story for this year very much is central bankers pushing against back against the pivot narrative. And this is just the latest in a series uh, of, of hits on that front, and we're likely to go on getting them because you know, once they get over their shock, bond traders, equity traders will start to go, well, you know, it's not going to take too much from here, a little bit of more in the way of economic softness for the RBA to pull back and to start thinking about when it has to cut rates because of the economic damage it's going to do. So we're going to get a kind of rinse and repeat for this as we've already had. Yet again, the central bank is shocking markets by extending its rate hike cycle, both in length and also in the scope of how high it's going to go. Uh, I don't think the RBA is going to be the last central bank to do that even this week.